We are talking The Funeral Home. This is an Argentinian movie, so it is spoken in Spanish. So get out those subtitled people. And as you'd probably expect from the title, focuses on this funeral home. Now we have a family of three. We have a, a, a mother who had a teenage daughter and she is married to a, another guy. So the stepfather of this daughter. And they own this funeral home, which is very dilapidated and kind of run down. They also live on the property as well. There's kind of like a house that's attached to it, things like this. Now, the interesting thing with this movie, and I think one of the things that makes it unique, is that there, in this, right at the start of the film, and this is a positive and a negative, there is ghosts that are there and, they, and, and the family know about it and they just kind of accept it. However, they, they get kind of um, more aggressive. There's a force there that's more aggressive as the kind of the film goes on. And it's ultimately how this family will deal with it. So let's discuss, first of all, what I think works with this movie. Number one, by a long way, the location shooting hair and the set design is fantastic. Oh my God, this place looks so run down crappy scary dirty it just it really does look but it does still kind of look like it would be a functioning um funeral home in a very kind of the um you know uh area which is kind of run down and 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 uh you know low low income type of area if that makes sense um but because of this i mean this the this the kind of the garden this they use funeral uh sorry coffins for kind of like putting um, plants and things like this. So it's just, it just looks great. It really does look um, fantastically spooky. And the story is original in a way. Even though the kind of like the nuts and bolts of what happens you've seen before. Well, maybe this setup is original. I like the fact that this focuses on a family who just accept that ghosts are here. You know, they, they, they kind of, it's part and parcel of work in a funeral home. And what they've done is they've kind of made like, um, got some kind of mystic person in to try and kind of ward off spirits to kind of, a, in a certain part of the house. And they have to kind of stick to the rules, like kind of like not going to the bathroom, for example, during the night, because that area isn't safe, things like this. Uh, and it, it makes for a uh, an interesting kind of setup. So they're not like, but they, they're still wary of the ghost, especially the daughter is, is just like hates living there because she's constantly kind of being scared and she's sort of seeing things and she wants to kind of go and live with her, you know, her, um, her grandmother, stuff like that. But it makes for an interesting, um, you know, uh, family dynamic and kind of situation that, you know, a lot of films will end up getting to, they kind of realise that there's ghosts there, but it kind of starts off here and... Uh, and it just makes it quite an interesting setup for the for the kind of the movie. I think the effects here are, are not too bad. I think the acting is all pretty good. I actually think the mother did a great job of really being. You feel like she's kind of caught between her daughter and, and her kind of husband, and both of them have kind of issues and things like this. But uh, that that was sort of quite good, and um, the effects works. Although it's not particularly. Uh, over overdone with effects. I think the effects that are here are, are, are quite are quite good as well. Um, what doesn't work? Okay. So as I've said, the the setup of this movie is quite good, but then it really more or less follows a, a kind of a standard sort of sort of style haunting movie, which isn't particularly um, you know original outside of that setup. I think the, the the movie's relatively well shot. I'll say that, but sometimes I think the the style of filmmaking, they kind of use the same camera tricks a little bit too often. For example, they'll have these long kind of like sweeping shots of kind of like the courtyard that will go into the house and stuff like that. And it's great. It's a great setup shot. But they keep doing it, you know, multiple times in the films, things like this. So it kind of just it loses impact. One of the big issues I had with this movie is the explanation about what has happened. Why these entities are more aggressive now um, or and maybe one in particular is maybe uh has a bit more of a target it's just delivered through a, a, an exposition dump it's just like the movie's quite slow to be honest with you and it, it has it has the time to you know have this built into the story in a more organic way but no 
It's just delivered by an exposition dump by a character who that is introduced in the third act of the movie. And I was thinking, what? And it just seemed like it's come out of nowhere. Um, it, it is just a really bizarre way of kind of going, this is the reason why this is happening. And it's kind of like more or less completely out of the blue. It doesn't kind of, well, it, it makes sense, I suppose, but it just, it wasn't set up. Um, so that was kind of, and then it was, it delivered, like I said, just in a, in a text where this kind of psychic turns up and basically tells the family why, why stuff is happening, but it wasn't, it, there was no setup to it. There's also a lot of things here that I felt are left dangling. Um, I'm going to give you some spoilers about what isn't in the movie, in this one, just to be honest. So, we, we, we see the far, this, this Bernardo, who is the, is the kind of the patriarch, he's the, the, the husband the, you know, of the woman and the stepfather of this girl. He seems to be almost having an affair with one of the spirits in the house. And it's, and it's kind of set up, and then nothing is done with it. Um, it's just like, oh, this, this is an interesting kind of plot development. He's kind of almost having an affair with some, to, some sort of spirit. And I'm unclear whether it's kind of like a, like a woman's spirit or a child's spirit, because it kind of alludes to both. Um, but then it's just, it's just never mentioned again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, why bother introducing it? And um, there's a couple of other instances, for example, um, where, where where stuff is kind of like set up with the mother and the daughter as well, having kind of, it's like, for example, the daughter is like always on the phone, thinking, okay, this is going to play a part. The fact that she's always there, the movie makes a point of showing you that this daughter is always kind of looking at her face. Like, okay, it's going to play some part in the movie. No. Nope. No relevance in the movie whatsoever. Okay, so um, so it's kind of this weird sort of things that are introduced and and nothing's done with them. But then we have this huge info dump about something that is kind of very important, uh, which kind of didn't make a lot of sense in, in some ways. Um, the relationship is very strained with all three members of this family. Like I said, the, the, the father is kind of having this weird affair with this this ghost that is always tired because he's always up playing around with it. The, the mother is kind of like, um, no subics going on. Uh, and the kind of the, the, the daughter and the, the, you know, the husband don't really kind of get on. And the daughter wants to go and live with the grandma, but the mother doesn't want her to because, um, the grandmother is the mother of her, her ex-husband who was a wife beater and things like this. So there's kind of these complex uh, uh, um, sort of situations set up and there's not a lot done with it. Some of it's a little bit paid off. Uh, maybe the mother's storyline, I think, is the most paid off. But anyway. But to, to be honest, on a visual basis, this movie, this movie is delicious. It's deliciously dark. And uh, like I've said, it's a very original setup, which I appreciated. Although I feel it was kind of a bit of a waste of an opportunity. But I still think this is an above average movie. There are a couple of really creepy moments in it. Um, and there's some, you know, there's some great kind of, like I say, great, great uh, set design and, and location shooting, and, the, and it really lends itself to some very kind of effective, creepy moments and, uh, you know, a, a very dark, foreboding atmosphere. So I will give this one a 6 out of 10, but it, it, I think the story here, uh, the writing and the direction was a little bit of a mess. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.